Hello everyone. Today, let's not look back, but look forward at 2021 and see what can be expected in terms of bond performances. Currently, there are two opposite forces. Super low yields, not, not a good thing for next year performances, and central bank policies, and they allow markets to hope. So let's focus on the Eurozone. To the exception of peripheral countries, all sovereigns show negative yields. And those poor yields also affect corporate quality debt. And still, this debt is more attractive than sovereign yields for investors not allowed to buy high yield bonds. So what type of performance will these bonds deliver next year? Forecasts are mildly optimistic. They are mildly optimistic because current bond yields are not sufficient to protect performance against rising pressure on yields. A lot lies within the German government bond market, the bonds, because as soon as we will integrate a back to normal possibility, bond yields will rise. And this has an impact on corporate bonds. So rising yields are the main challenger of the slightly positive performance scenario for 2021. According to the most pessimistic forecasters, because of the lack of cushion on corporate bonds, risk premiums will have to tighten in order to compensate rising yields. So this is the condition for an overperformance of corporate bonds. But this overperformance might only be relative and could still be negative in absolute terms. So that was for the cautious forecasters. And they are, of course, uh, more optimistic views. These views are based on expectations of better time, improved fundamentals, less downgrades from the rating agency, but also the central factor that is and remains the central bank as it will continue to buy new issues next year. It will have an impact on the bond supply and consequently on bond yields. So how does supply look for 2021? New issues should rise next year in Europe, but the stock of bond maturing next year is very heavy, the highest since 10 years. So net-net, this means less supply next year, and it also means a support for yields. So to summarize, there are many different forecasts, but one a common to many is that quality corporate bonds should have a performance of around 1% next year. Not very exciting. But demand for corporate bonds will continue because these bonds are still more attractive than negative yielding government debt. In a way, it's better to have little rather than less than nothing. Thank you.